Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, we're going to go over the three types of hooks to use for catfish. Well, folks, one of the things that guiding has taught me is that a lot of people are confused about what hooks to use. I get people on the boat a lot of times that are new to fishing or wanting to learn how to catch catfish. And one of their big question is, what kind of hooks do I use? Why do you use circle hooks? Why don't you use this kind of hook? I'm going to go over the three types of hooks in this video that I think are most effective and that you're most likely to come in contact with when you decide on what hook you want to use. Well, the first hook is an easy one. It's the most common hook. It's the hook that you're most likely going to draw on a piece of paper as a kid when you're drawing a picture of yourself going fishing, and that's a J hook. A J hook is exactly what it sounds like. It is shaped like a J. Uh, it typically has a barb on it. It has an eye at one end that you tie up onto, and it is shaped like a J. Not a whole lot to it. This is a common hook. Probably there is more variety of J hooks than any other hook out there. And it's most likely the hook that you're going to see when you roll into a tackle store to pick some up. Now, what are the advantages to using a J-hook? Well, one, they're common. Uh, they're readily available. They're pretty much everywhere. You don't have to hunt hard to find them. One of the other advantages to using a J-hook is that a lot of people watch TV. And they watch those bass anglers ripping back on that rod, jerking on that rod. It's exciting. People love to do it. If you fished all your life, uh, it's a hard habit to break when you're using other hooks. The great thing about J-hooks is uh, when you can rear back on that rod, you can jerk that thing and you can set that hook and you're okay. Now, what's a downside to a J-hook? Well, generally speaking, you're more likely to throat hook or uh, deep hook a fish with a J-hook. And that's just by the design of it and the way it pretty much grabs onto anything uh, in the fish's mouth. Now you're asking yourself, well, gee, I'm going to catch the fish. That's great. And listen, if you're keeping fish to eat and you're killing everything that you catch, nothing wrong with that. It's a fine hook to use. And uh, it's a perfect hook for that because you really don't care whether you deep hook a fish. However, if you're like myself and a lot of other anglers out there today, we're conservation minded. We're trying to release trophy fish. We are not keeping and killing everything we catch. So it's a hook that can end up uh, hurting uh, fish that we would otherwise release. And uh, for that reason, that is one of the downsides to using a J hook. Another downside is, is that you need to pay attention to your rods when you're using J-hooks. Unlike with circle hooks that pretty much set themselves, a J-hook you kind of need to be uh, manning the rods and paying attention to what's going on so you can set that hook, jerk that rod, and put that hook into his mouth. Uh, in some situations, say you are bank fishing or you're about to fall asleep in the boat or you're just not attending to your rods, you've got them in a rod holder, it may not be the best hook for you. It's going to be a hook that's going to require you to pay attention to what's going on. Now, the next hook is somewhat similar to a J-hook, uh, in its shape at least, uh, and that's a treble hook. A treble hook basically has three hooks that are together in one. Uh, you will see these, they are very popular on bass fishing lures. Uh, you'll see two or three of these hooks sometimes on a bass fishing lure. And uh, they're very sharp. They got, again, three different points, three different hooks in one, basically. And they're shaped just like a J hook. Now, one of the biggest advantages to using a treble hook is, well, it's pretty easy to hook anything. If that hook goes inside of a fish's mouth, generally speaking, you're going to catch the fish. Now, occasionally, one will get away. One will get by, especially if you're using a treble hook that's a little bit too small. But generally speaking, it's a pretty easy hookup. And that's why it's such a popular hook to be used on bass lures and for guys that are doing offshore high-speed trolling uh, with live baits. It's it's a presents, presents a very uh, effective way to get a lot of hookups on just about everything that takes that hook into its mouth. Now, the easy hookup is the biggest advantage and one of the few advantages to the hook. That's a big one, uh, but there's a lot of downsides to it. Generally speaking, the wire gauge of the hook is smaller than most other hooks, J hooks and circle hooks. What that means is, is that if you are fishing for trophy fish, big fish, uh, it is possible that those fish can straighten this hook out or at least bend it to the point that it makes it easier for them to pull off. That is one of the disadvantage of using this hook. You can beat that by going to bigger and bigger and bigger treble hooks, 
The problem there is, is that you're basically almost doubling the size, the gap of the hook from tip to tip. Uh, whereas that same size J hook may be this big, you put two of them together, it's this big. That can present some problems with fish taking the uh, bait and hook into their mouth. So that's something you kind of have to consider and balance against what you're fishing for, how you're fishing, and uh, just how much of a gamble you want to take on that fish spitting that hook. The biggest thing with these hooks is they're not good for fish, uh, especially if you're using them as a single hook because fish will take these hooks deep. They will ingest them. Uh, you have a little less of a problem with that with using them on fishing lures for bass fishing because generally they will catch on something, some part of the mouth, and they don't always ingest the entire hook. But if you're using them as a single hook on a piece of bait, uh, it's very easy to deep and gut hook a fish using these. So uh, if you're looking to catch fish that you plan to eat, it may not be a bad choice. It's an easy way to get hooked up. Uh, but if you're planning on releasing fish, you're conservation minded, probably not your best choice. Now the last hook is a relative newcomer uh, to the hook scene. It was designed by the offshore guys who were chasing billfish. Uh, and, uh, you know, these fish, a lot of them are released alive. It is uh, more of a sport fishing world. Uh, they were not trying to kill these fish. They're trying to protect them and release them alive. And they wanted a way that would hopefully prevent less deep hooking of these fish. And they came up with the circle hook. Basically what the circle hook is and what that means is, is that the hook makes a bend that is almost completely around. Uh, the point comes around to where it is 90 degrees to the shank of the hook. Whereas a J hook is basically parallel to the shank of the hook, a circle hook, the point, the tip points back to the shank of the hook. Now, the reason for doing this is, is that as it, it comes out of the fish's mouth, as resistance is applied to it, it really doesn't snag on anything inside that fish's throat until it gets to the edge of their jaw. Once it's at the edge of their jaw, it meets some resistance, it starts to spin, and the tip finds some flesh, digs in, and you've got a good hookup. Now, it's not 100% effective. Uh, occasionally, you will deep hook a fish. That is going to happen. But it is much better for the fish, uh, generally speaking, especially if you're planning to release them, than a J hook or a treble hook is. Now, circle hooks come in a variety of styles, a variety of shapes. Uh, the biggest thing that uh, separates a circle hook from a J hook, again, is that tip. If that tip points 90 degrees to the shank of the hook, it's a circle hook. Anything else is a J hook. My personal preference is a circle hook with a wider gap. I like a lot of room between that tip and the shank of the hook. I don't like the ones that are very narrow. Reason being, as many of y'all know, if you're pursuing catfish, part of their mouth is fairly thick. Now the corner, you can get by with some very small gaps on the hooks, but there's a lot of bony structure in the top and the bottom of the fish's mouth. And depending on where it rolls out to, uh, having that wider gap will really help with hooking up on these fish. So I personally like going with the wider gap hooks like some of the owners, the Gamagatsu hooks, and the hooks from Hooker's Terminal Tackle like the Backstabber. Now, a couple of more advantages to the circle hook are, well, you don't have to sit there and have the rod in your hand the whole time waiting for a fish to take it so you can rear back and jerk on it. Uh, placing a rod in a rod holder to where it is fixed in position, you really can allow the rod, rod tip, and the line resistance through the water to do the hook setting as the fish swims away. Uh, it's a very nice way to be able to fish. You don't have to constantly be on the rod and paying attention to them. You can be a little bit slack and lazy when you go fishing by using these things. So that's one of the big advantages to using them. And along those same lines, you don't have to really lay down with a heavy hook set. a matter of fact, it can be a bad thing. Sometimes you can pull a hook loose that is effectively set by jerking back on the rod. Really, all you need to do is either lift up on the rod just to add some resistance or reel it into the corner of the fish's mouth. Reeling it into the corner of the mouth is probably the most effective way to set these hooks and it's a good way not to pull that hook loose. Well, there you go, folks. Hopefully that gives you some good information on the three types of hooks that you can use for catfishing. Figure out how you're fishing, pick one, and go catch some fish. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. 
Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.